Tanya here from the Collier County Public Library for another edition of Collier Creates. And today we're gonna to do a fun activity called Crayon Resist Art. So uh, you'll just need a couple of things. First of all, you're going to need some white crayons. You hardly ever use the white in the crayon box, right? You're gonna use a paintbrush. You might also need um, a pencil sharpener to sharpen your crayons because you kind of need a pretty good point on your crayon. You will need some thick, either watercolor paper or some thick paper because we are gonna use watercolors and a set of watercolors. So let's get started. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna draw a picture or some words or whatever you want with a white crayon. So I'm gonna draw and you probably won't be able to see it. So it's gonna be kind of free art. Press pretty hard, and then you're gonna use your watercolors. So dip it in water a little bit. And use your watercolors, your watercolor paint, and just paint across like this. And magically, can you see? The crayon is starting to bleed through. So anywhere that you put the white crayon, it's gonna bleed through. So this is my happy sun face. Or you can do your name. So let me write my name. Dip it in a different thing, water to get some different color. I'm gonna do some blue. And just gonna paint across. Ooh, and magically, Miss Sonia's name is appearing. It's like magic. Littles will have lots of fun with this creating. You can create silent messages and secret codes that have to be revealed once you put the paint on. So here's Miss Sonia's name. And here are some others that I did. You can even do some early literacy thing. Apple, the word apple. You can do some math. You can, uh, Paint a flower and the number one, two flowers and the number two, three flowers and the number three. So just lots of fun ideas that you can do with this crayon resist art. I hope you'll try it. If you enjoyed this craft and you would like to find out some others, be sure and go to our website and click on create a bug. Thanks and everybody have a great week. Bye.